Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Kelly. I'm back to read another Bible story with our toddlers from the big book of Bible stories for toddlers. Our big picture question for today is why does God punish sin? And the answer is that God is holy. He never sins and he is right to punish sin. Our story today is called Noah and the Ark and it comes from Genesis 6 through 9 in the Bible. Before long, all people on earth disobeyed God, so God chose a man named Noah to build a boat. God sent pairs of all the animals to the boat. Then God sent a flood. Noah, his family, and the animals on the boat were safe. God put a rainbow in the sky and promised to never again flood the whole earth. Thanks for listening to my Bible story today. Before we have our message for the big kids, can everybody sing along with us while we sing Jesus Loves Me? Ready? Here we go! Hey big kids, this week Dr. Beale is talking about warfare. So I got some sword drills from my friend Mr. Jaren and we're gonna run through them together. So go grab your swords and then get in your fighting stance, right? Oh, hang on. Oh, it's Dr. Beale. Hello? What? Are you sure? Okay, thank you, bye. Um, Dr. Beale said he's talking about spiritual warfare, so we're supposed to be talking about like armor of God from Ephesians 6. So put away your swords and go grab your Bibles, okay? Come on. So is Ephesians in the Old or the New Testament? The New Testament, right? So go ahead and open up to Ephesians chapter 6, and we're going to focus on verses 14 to 18. So the Apostle Paul is talking about how God equips every believer with spiritual armor to fend off the attacks of the evil one or Satan. So this is gonna represent us. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist. So the foundation of all the armor is the truth of God's word and the trustworthiness of the gospel. Where do we learn that truth? The Bible, so you have to read your Bible to know the truth. With the t-shirt of righteousness in place. Hold up, I am pretty sure that is not what it says. Oh, wait, that was uh, with the breastplate of righteousness in place. The breastplate covers your heart. What's going to cover or protect our hearts? Righteousness, being right with God through Jesus. And your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. How are we ready? through the gospel. Again, read your Bible. Paul repeatedly reminds us to stand and stand firm. When we carry anxiousness and worry with us, we are shaken loose from standing firm and we're robbed of that peace. But the gospel of peace is what keeps our feet anchored and keeps us standing firm. In addition, take up the shield of faith, which with which you will be able to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. So Paul describes Satan's attacks as fiery arrows, like when you're sitting in class and your neighbor has totally studied for something and you haven't, maybe you should just take a little peek at his test. No, you can't douse your shield in water when the fiery arrow is already coming at you. You have to be ready. Your shield of faith needs to be regularly dipped into the water of God's word to be replenished and to be fully functional and take up the shin guards of salvation. Wait, what? Shin guards? There are no shin guards in the Bible. Oh, and take the helmet of salvation. See, that makes more sense. Salvation comes the moment that we place our trust in Jesus' death and resurrection as the payment for our sin. We have to allow him to work that salvation into every part of our thoughts. 
The battlefield of our mind is the primary place the spiritual battle is fought. And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Guys, this is the only piece of armor that is both defensive and offensive. The most effective weapon that we have are God's words. The Bible. Jesus used Bible verses to defeat Satan when he was tempted in the wilderness. And we can do that too. So imagine again, the parents are asking you to do your homework. Once your parents leave your room, though, you look over and oh, you see your sad, lonely, poor little old Xbox and you figure, well, a few minutes playing won't hurt. No! Slice those thoughts with your sword. Come on, do it with me. Okay? We're going to use the word of God to combat that sin. We go, whoosh! Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Right? All right, last verse, verse 18. With all prayer and petition, pray at all times in the spirit. And with this in view, be on the alert with all perseverance and petition for all the saints. Pray, guys, pray, pray, pray. Put your armor on every day and be strong in the Lord.